everybody, this is Praxis, and today's video is primarily for myself in the future, if I ever want to know where this trench here is. Uh, I've used a lot of these 360 videos that I've shot during the series to go back and kind of check where things are, whether it was wires in a wall or a pipe running through a wall or actually another trench down on the other side of the house, you know, where stub outs were happening. I found it to be very helpful to have these, so I'm, I'm shooting this and sharing that lesson with you at the same time. Uh, yesterday I was able to get that second pass through over there, you know, after I'd forgotten to uh, do it initially, and I'm about to start laying in the pipes. Uh, the length of this, uh, this trench that's going to have the, uh, the half inch PVC pipes uh, is going to about here at this point, and I'm not sure exactly how much farther I'm going to go. Uh, the digging uh, after you get past this point is really hard. I mean, this stuff, it's like digging you shall receive, it's just soft, sandy stuff. But it, this is like New England soil here, and it's just roots and rocks and rocks and roots, and it's really hard digging over there. So I'm not sure how much further I'm going to go over there, but primarily I'm going to decide the length of this trench based on this piece of scrap that I've got left for the uh, the solar uh, electric wiring. I've, it's a pretty good length of scrap, so it, I'm just going to kind of run it out, and either I'm going to, you know, just give up because I just can't dig any further, or I'll run out of wire, and whichever one uh, comes first, that's as far as I'm going to go up there. But this will be a pretty good place for the solar panels. At the moment, the solar panels are behind you, uh, but the solar panels ultimately are going to be kind of like in here, between that tree and this uh, really nice boulder over here. I, I wanted to bring them back to you know make that boulder over there more visible, because it's really kind of nice. So I think they're going to end up right in this area here. Uh, I figured uh, we'll wrap up today's video with another butt shot of me down in the hole. I'm about to start putting the uh, um, half inch conduit in there uh, using some PVC cement. Uh, and when you're doing the small stuff, uh, you want to just do it on the, uh, the male side of it and not on the female side of it because you don't want it to be uh, bubbling up and gooping up on the inside of the PVC, side, uh, PVC pipe. So only the male side and then the female side slips over and does a little bit of a turn as it goes. So I'm going to go down in the pit and put some of this on and start assembling. I've got a curve to the trench here and because of that the ends of the poles are going to be digging into the side over here. So what I did is I put some, well I'll show you the video. I put some plastic bags on the end with uh, just uh, rubber bands. So that's going to try to keep the, the ends of them clean and keep uh, dirt from getting inside of them. All right, and now I dive down into the hole. Here we go. You gotta be quick with this stuff. Okay, around the whole thing. Grab any one of these. Ugh. I got a little dirt on it already. Hopefully that's fine. I think it'll be fine. pretty good. It's not like these have pressure, like water pressure in them or anything like that. So I'll just do the other one like that and then start uh, sliding the wires through. And again, I've got the male end sticking out, the female ends go around that. So when the wire goes through, it's not hitting uh, edges. I'm going to push the wire from that end and fly it out that way. That's it. Thanks for watching.